Examples of Typical Glazing Infill Options for Impact Applications. Welcome to Building Knowledge 101. In this video, we look at examples of typical glazing infill options for impact applications and consider the decisions architects must make regarding interlayers. Here's an example of typical glazing and fill. The options that you'll see for impact applications, it is important that in section 8800, you are clear about your glass configuration. The green line in each of these represents a laminate layer. Laminate layers are typically called out either 0 0.30, 0 0.60, or 0 0.90. In impact applications, majority of these are 0 0.90 interlayers. In order to comply with the impact test, it is critical that architects specify one of the inner layers in the tested mock-up. The three components of the test that need to be specified and used in the field are the specific frame, one of the tested inner layers, and one of the tested silicones or dry gaskets. Those three must be worked out. They're a system. They were tested together, so they must all be specified and provided together. These components make up, again, the tested system. Usually in entries, your glass is going to drop down to 9 sixteenths with an 090 inner layer. An insulated glass is usually 1 and 5 sixteenths with a quarter inch outboard light of glass, half inch airspace, then 9 sixteenths laminate inboard light. The outboard light of the glass needs to be tempered were required by code. Small missile impact does require that the outboard lights are fully tempered in all locations. That is all we have time for in this video. If you'd like to watch more of our 101 video series, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Conair Company, Inc.